started back in 2016. I wanted to build like small statues and you know just the idea of, of, of the piñatas you know it, it popped up I was like all right well let me let me give it a shot the first two three years I didn't feel comfortable with my work so I just continued to work and work and work and try to get better with everyone you know ever since then I kind of never looked back I'm just happy that Dallas is a like an art loving city so there's not a lot of cities like that Inside this cozy garage, a Dallas artist is redefining a throwaway party staple. With hundreds of sticky paper mache layers, Alfonso Hernandez has perfected the piñata. It's a lot of mental notes. You know, it's me looking for it's me looking for that those small details. Working day and night to build life-sized pop culture favorites. It's just an incredible feeling like like being able to um, make these characters come to life. Video game characters, superheroes, Disney princesses, piñatas that resemble people like mariachi legend Vicente Fernandez and a pricey piñata that looks like a customer's daughter. Works of art, at times too good to break apart. The customers, they generally know whether they're gonna break it or not. Has uh, anyone changed their mind? Uh, yeah, I think, I think probably like 50% of the customers changed their mind. Yeah, so like 50%, They'll get it, they'll see it, and they'll be like, oh, I don't, I don't know. I've had people say, yeah, we're probably going to go buy another one. You know, we're going to go buy a $40 one. Alfonso gained the skill of piñata making when he lost his dream job in IT. He needed a distraction, but found much more. I saw an opportunity. Creating was his way of coping. Just kind of disappeared, you know, every from everybody, and, and I just, you know, stayed back here. You know, I, I came back here and just never really left. And when Texas Monthly highlighted his work, he blew up on social media. When they released it, well, I got like over 100 messages. Because of that, business has been good. This is art. This takes time. And now families pay hundreds of dollars for his piñatas. This family like drove eight hours from Louisiana to collect their masterpiece. The people are surprised. Um, you know, they're they're usually surprised, and and I'm I'm looking I'm looking for their expression. You know, when I'm when I bring it out and when they see it, I'm looking at them. I'm looking at the kids. It's that look of joy. At the end of the day, they're they're happy. You know. He hopes will last. Dale, dale, dale. Long after his creations. In Dallas, I'm Adriana Dale. Oh, yeah, I want one. For more stories about Latin cultures and heritage, join us at WFAA.com slash La Vida.